Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Good afternoon dear student in this particular video we will be discussing about what are the various types of deposits and what are the various financial services uh, that are being offered by the banks in india so the main purpose is to understand the types of deposits that a bank accepts and then what are the various types of financial services that are being offered by the banks let us start you see in the previous video in the first video it was mentioned that it is a main duty it is the main function of the bank basically it is the primary function of the bank to accept deposit and then to advance money to give loans and advances to the public uh, basically loans and advances are given to the public out of the money that is received by the bank by way of deposits from the public i have mentioned it in detail uh, that these are the main functions uh, these are the primary functions you may say as far as banking institution is concerned so these are the two basic functions to accept deposits and uh, then to a uh, give to provide loans and advances that may be provided to individuals businessmen companies and various other parties so in this particular module in this particular video we are basically concerned with we will be restricting our discussion to what are the various types of deposits so what are the various types of deposits and in addition to that we will be discussing what are the uh, various financial services uh, that are being offered by the banks to the public to businessmen to company so uh, let us start so first of all what are the various types of deposits uh, what is deposit i think uh, you know it very well whenever some money is there in simple parlance in simple language in case some money is there uh, it is lying surplus plus it is being kept uh, you may say at the uh, house of the depositor so it will not be uh, contributing anything it will not be playing any role in the development of the economy but when this money when this this money is deposited into the bank it will be becoming a part of the uh, you may say circle of the economy it will be uh, there it will be uh, included it will be contributing something to the development of the economy and uh, at the same time uh, the depositor will be earning some interest on the money that was lying surplus with him. basically four types of deposits are there traditionally we may say that four types of uh, deposits are there first what are the four types it may be saving bank account it may be current account it may be recurring deposit account or it may be fd that is fixed deposit account so basically these are four and traditionally there are these four types of accounts again various types of accounts so various innovative products are there within rd within fixed deposit you will find a number of items a number of um, innovative products are being coming for the benefit of the depositors but we are basically concerned with basic types of deposits so first of all we will be discussing saving account uh, now what is saving saving bank account uh, you see as its name signifies it is the account that is there in order to encourage the habit of savings among customers and basically various uh, salaried class and other categories of people they open a saving bank account in any bank uh, now what are the main you may say features of saving bank account uh, you see there are restrictions on withdrawal and at the same time there are restrictions on number of deposits but generally our withdrawals and deposits uh, transactions are not too much so it doesn't pose any difficulty and in addition to that we are required to keep the minimum balance in our saving bank account it differs from bank to bank it even differs from branch to branch as in urban area Uh, the minimum balance may be higher than uh, what the minimum balance is in the rural area in case of uh, same bank similarly in case of private banks it may be more like in case of icici bank hdfc bank it is much more as compared to various public sector banks like uh, union bank of india punjab national bank and even uh, i have already told you it differs from uh, locality in urban area it may be more in village in rural area it may not be the same as is charged in the urban area now payment of interest is given interest is paid 
on the saving bank account it is uh, not too high it is paid as per the regulations by the rbi that is the regulatory body uh, in the banking sector and they finalize some spectrum within which the banks are allowed to travel so uh, as we have uh, uh, understood that there is a requirement to keep the minimum balance uh, otherwise account maintenance charges are being levied on the uh, these are deducted from the amount that is available in the saving banks account of the customer uh, then i have already told you that interest is paid nominal interest is paid on the balance that is there in the saving bank account of a customer uh, then atm card that is debit card is issued to the customer generally it is issued uh, but it will be charged similarly check facility is given check book is issued but in various banks in order to have check book uh, the requirement of minimum balance that is increased uh, let us suppose in simple case the account the minimum balance account opening that is rupees 500 but in order to have a check book the minimum deposit uh, might be rupees 1000 so uh, that is also there it differs from bank to bank uh, then various facilities are given like sms facilities given but it will not be free on quarter early basis its charges would be deducted from the saving bank account of the customer similarly in case debit card has been issued again its maintenance charges annual maintenance charges will be deducted from the saving bank account of the customer so these are the main features you may say Uh, that are there as far as a saving bank account is concerned now in addition to that kindly note uh, rbi has specifically instructed the banks that saving bank account can't be opened in the name of uh, you may say company in the name of trading concern business concern association a government department municipal corporation panchayat samitis and similar other corporations in those cases only current account is required to be opened as number of transactions uh, uh, might be more moreover some budgetary allocations are there and uh, the dealings are uh, basically by way of check and uh, number of transactions might be much more so in those cases there is a specific instruction from rbi that saving bank account is not to be opened in uh, such cases now let us move further then we have fixed deposit account it is very popular i think you might have come across some fdr that is fixed deposit uh, receipt what is fd fd means it is just a type of uh, deposit account uh, what is what is the difference between saving bank and fd the basic difference uh, relates to the tenure time period basically the amount that is deposited in fd a fixed deposit account that is repayable after the expiry of a certain period uh, that may be from 6 month from 1 year to 5 year so that will be there and uh, uh, it should be noticed that when bank accepts fds even bank is sure that this money uh, is there this money will be with the bank for a long period and that may be utilized in that way it ensures the bank that amount will remain with the bank for a long period and and banks are in a position to invest that that may be uh, to grant loans advances or some other profitable opportunity may be exploited by the banks so uh, one thing more that uh, i would like to state here uh, that higher rate of interest is given on fds it depends upon the time period it may be that uh, in case the uh, time period is 4 year it is 5 year so it might be more than in case the time period is uh, just one year so it should also be kept in mind and in case fd account is opened in a bank and it is for 5 year even we get tax rebate under section 80c for the you may say regulations as per the provisions of income tax act 1961 and similarly let us suppose Uh, the bank is offering you may say the rate is 4.90 on uh, for one year fd even in those cases you will find that uh, uh, banks are offering a higher rate of interest to the senior citizens so senior citizens will be uh, getting some percentage that is a uh, higher than the percentage that is uh, available to the uh, others so it should also be uh, kept in mind it may be 0.25% more than the normal return one thing more you should keep in mind that fixed deposits that is fds 
can also be opened in the joint names of two or more persons so we were discussing that fds can also be opened in the joint names of two or more persons uh, which are payable to either or survivor so it should also be uh, kept in mind on various times you know life is very uncertain it is better it is always advisable to uh, open the fd account in the joint names of two or more persons and uh, the clause may be there ki, uh, which are payable to either or survivor. Again, loan can be received. We are able to get loans against our FDs. Like it is uh, there, we are able to get loans against our national saving certificates and all that. Similarly, loan facility is also available against FDs. And uh, one thing more that you should keep in mind, dear students, that uh, once you have opened one FD, let us suppose a FD account has been op opened in a bank and it is for five years. You have uh, made a deposit. You have uh, created an FD for five years. And uh, let us suppose after three years, uh, you need money. In that case, you may even get the payment even before the date of maturity and in that case in that case some penalty may be charged by the banks and it is as per the provisions rules and regulations of that particular bank but in case you want let us suppose you want to cancel the fd that was for one year and by cancelling that you want to increase the time period you want to make it for uh, say three years or five years in that case no penalty may be charged by the uh, bank as per the instructions issued by the rbi so it should be kept in mind uh, while while opening an fd account various options are there so you should try to keep you should try to mention uh, various options are there you may try to have auto renewals of fds in case it is on the date of maturity you are not able to go to the bank so it will be uh, it will automatically be um, renewed for the same period uh, at the rate of interest that is prevailing on that particular date so it should be uh, kept in mind it is very good on the part of the banks that uh, they inform you even uh, through sms they inform you that uh, on a particular date uh, that may be after one week your fd in our bank so and so branch that is going to expire and you are uh, uh, requested to uh, instruct us what to do whether to renew is uh, it or whatever may be the case so the person uh, becomes aware regarding the fd that is going to be matured so it should be kept in mind now rd now first of all what is the meaning of rd it is uh, clear on the screen that is a recurring deposit account now what is recurring recurring means that is occurring again and again that is reoccurring that is occurring again and again in this particular account the money again the motive is to inculcate the habit of saving amongst the uh, customers but what is the difference between saving bank what is the difference between fd and rd that is when you are not in a position to give a lump sum money at once but you want uh, some uh, FD like amount and you want uh, a higher interest then in order to cater that uh, thing RD accounts are there under RD account the sum the amount the money is deposited in monthly installments for a fixed period and uh, you may say it may range from one year to ten years it will depend upon the policy of that particular bank and uh, policies of rbi so you will be giving you will be deposit uh, the money in monthly installments and then after the time period is over on the date of maturity you will get the money back with interest on that amount now what is the difference you see in rd the rate of interest is almost equal to the rate of fd prevailing on that particular time so the rate of interest is almost equal to that of fd and uh, whenever you will uh, open rd account in a bank you will be issued the customer will be issued a separate passbook and uh, various entries will be made in that uh, passbook and you may instruct you may uh, let us suppose you are having saving bank in that account and you are also having rd account in that bank so you will be instructing the bank to debit your account uh, on a particular date each month 
so bank will be deducting the amount of rd from your saving bank account each and every month till the last date till the end of the uh, you may say period of rd and at the end it will be given back to the customers along with interest on the maturity the last account as far as types of deposits are concerned so last type of category is current account now what is current account you see a while discussing saving bank account i have already told you that uh, there are number of restrictions on the number of deposits or number of withdrawals but no such restrictions are there as far as current account is concerned it may be operated you may say any number of times no restrictions on deposit no restrictions on withdrawal that is why in cases where number of transactions are much more you may say even uh, in one day in one on one particular day various transactions take place in that case the most suitable account is current account so it is more uh, suitable to businessmen and companies public authorities corporations and all that uh, then various other facilities like checkbook facilities available so and uh, you will find that uh, their checkbook is in case of saving bank account 10 checks 20 checks may be there in particular booklet but in a current account you will find that number of checks will be much more and even one more facility that is third party checks and checks having endorsements may also be deposited for collection and credit now what is endorsement that we will be studying in the forthcoming videos it is also there in your syllabus and overdraft facilities are also available again overdraft facility will also be discussed in the coming uh, videos it is also there in syllabus basically it means overdraft drawing some money that is much more than the money that is available in your account it will depend upon various conditions we will be discussing in the meantime one thing more you should keep in mind regarding current account is that no interest is generally given on current account interest is not given but uh, some charges may be recovered from the some charges may be levied on the customer and they may be debited in the current account of the customer so it should be kept in mind ki no interest is given rather some charges may be deducted but even then this account is most suitable to various companies corporations public authorities where some budgetary allocations are made where number of transactions relating to deposit relating to withdrawal are much more so it is best suited to Uh, them now dear students kindly note that in your syllabus it has been specifically mentioned ki what are the various financial services offered by banks so in this regard let me make it clear that various types of financial services are there i think you might have heard about merchant banking you might have heard about demat account stock exchange transactions mutual fund even insurance you might have heard so the number of financial services are there that are nowadays offered by the bank so uh, let us discuss let us have a look on uh, these financial services i will be discussing in brief first of all merchant banking merchant banking started in india in 1967 national grand lays they started first of all merchant banking in india then city bank followed the suit they started it in 1970 and in 1972 sbi became first commercial bank having a distinct division for merchant banking activities now keeping all things in uh, mind what is the role of uh, merchant uh, banker you see in loan syndication they play a significant role they may playing a, a, a wonderful role in advisory services re relating to issue management offshore financing may be there and they may help they may uh, advise in devising in deciding the most appropriate capital structure then portfolio management they may be trying to help in underwriting uh, then they may also help you they may also help the companies in providing long term fund to the companies arranging long term funds for expansion for diversification and for various other purposes 
So merchant banking is one of the financial service that is offered by various banks. Not only SBA, various banks are offering financial services of merchant bank. Then the next is factoring. I think uh, being student of commerce, being student of uh, accounting, you might have heard the word factoring. Uh, that is uh, when your debtors, your uh, receivables are purchased and you are given some uh, amount uh, for that. In India, Banking Regulation Act 1949, it was amended. Earlier it was not allowed. So it was amended and uh, commercial banks were allowed to undertake factoring business in India. So uh, receivable can be converted into cash and uh, it will resolve, it will solve your cash flow problem, cash flow issues to a large extent. So uh, banks may provide, banks are uh, rather providing this financial service and uh, they are offering factoring services for domestic as well as export receivables also. Subject to certain conditions. So what will be the impact? You see your process will be streamlined with minimum documentation and even same day disbursement and at the same time you will be able to handle various factoring categories. Complete digital solutions are provided by various banks like ICICI like HDFC and they are providing it in a various paperless mode and you will be able to achieve liquidity and it will be improving your cash flows. Then various other things it may be with the recourse or without recourse and uh, i think you are aware that uh, when the risk is uh, um, when who will be bearing the risk uh, then it will results in improved financial ratios your financial ratio will be improved balance sheet will be strong with the reduced working cycle so it should be kept in mind factoring service is one of the great financial service that is being provided by the the banking sector in India. So it should be kept in mind. Now, now the next is online trading through DMAT account. I think you are aware that uh, nowadays online trading can be done. DMAT account uh, uh, is basically offered by various banks. HDFC Securities is there. ICICI's bank is having its 3-in-1 uh, account. So various types of DMAT accounts are there and banks are providing these and you may enjoy 24 by 7 access to transfer securities through uh, these accounts provided you are having your internet and uh, when once you have invested your money in shares in debentures uh, you may participate in various ipos through uh, these banks and uh, once you have successfully purchased you successfully bought some shares uh, debentures you will be receiving dividend, you will be receiving interest in your account, you will be receiving your bonus, a new uh, amount will be credited to your DMAT account. So you are able to find, you are able to view your holdings, transactions, your bills and you will be able to find out the ISIN details of your securities. Uh, what is happening? Uh, whether some uh, amount has been credited, whether some securities, some number of securities uh, have been credited and various other services are being provided, various other services are being provided by the banks. So various banks are offering these services. I have already mentioned the service being offered by HDFC Bank and ICICI Bank. Then mutual fund and portfolio management services. As you are aware, mutual fund services are one of the great services that are being provided by banks. So regarding that bank will help you uh, in investing in mutual funds. They will be helping you to create a portfolio that will be as per that will be exactly as per your requirements as per your needs as per your risk taking capabilities and keeping in mind your various financial goals. It may be for uh, marriage of the ward, it may be for education purpose of your children. So banks will help you in uh, creating such a portfolio and uh, it will be managed professionally and they will be uh, keeping a right mix, right composition of risk and return. So you will be, chances are there, I have already told you that uh, various advertisements are also there that um, mutual fund investments are subject to risk. So, uh, but chances are there then once these are professionally managed 
and moreover bank is watching highly uh, qualified professional advisors are advising you so you will be able to uh, get something out of that uh, again smart algorithms may be there and uh, uh, you are able to track your portfolio various things are there and the banks will be uh, assisting you in all that so uh, you will be able to exploit the market you will be able to reap the benefits of the changes of various opportunities that are there in the market so it should be kept in mind now cash management services as i have already told you regarding factoring in the same way uh, banks are also offering various banks like you may say icici bank they are offering cash management services cms we may say uh, they are uh, helping the companies in processing the receivables as well as payables through various cms products and in this way they are helping us to make better our cash flow position and ultimately it will be uh, helpful in effective management of business operations similarly uh, we will be getting advanced technology support we will be getting efficient logistics support and at the same time at the same time they will be assisting us in ensuring timely deposits of collections and uh, timely payments of the uh, money to whom we are required to pay so ultimately our goodwill will be maintained our ultimately our cash will not be wasted we will be making judicious use of our scarce resources then forex services i have already told you in the previous video also that banks play a great role uh, as far as the economic development of the country is concerned at that particular point of time i have also told you regarding letter of credit regarding import uh, substitution regarding export promotion you see all of these transactions which are international in nature uh, they will require forex so uh, we will have to deal in forex forex means foreign exchange and uh, various instructions by rbi various directions by fema that are required to be kept in mind so banks will be helping us in managing effectively our forex the the forex you may say and whenever you, uh, let us suppose you want to give some advertisement regarding your product in uk in usa in australia in new zealand so again you will be uh, you will have to pay uh, in forex and banks will be helping you in that payment and they will be guiding you in various international transactions uh, various foreign transactions various cross border transactions including spot forex you may depend upon a bank and they will be providing you competitive dealings in prices in major currencies be it dollar be it various other currencies and then they will be providing online platform for forex rates and it will become very easy for the businessman to deal in forex and they will be they will be free from various technicalities involved and they may utilize that time for making strategies for making for the progress of their business then derivative service i think you know what are the derivatives uh, derivatives includes uh, future forward spot spot and uh, uh, these are uh, covered under that swap forward future Uh, these are covered under derivatives so now uh, when we deal we talk of financial services then banks are helping the customer banks are helping uh, they are giving expertise they are uh, giving expert advice to their customers regarding risk management through financial derivatives they are protecting the business and they may protect them against price fluctuations through various tools and techniques uh, uh, as i have already mentioned future forward swap options and they will be providing these services at the minimum cost and these are very technical themes derivatives are not so simple so various technicalities are involved and they require expert advice so banks will be giving banks will be providing the much required advice and you are free to uh, concentrate your uh, limited time on your core competency 
it may be in service it may be in manufacturing you should concentrate on that and uh, in this part you may depend upon the services being offered by the banks uh, then in order to decide in order to examine the suitability the appropriateness of a particular derivative structure again bank will be uh, helpful and they will be devising the uh, structure they will be devising the particular structure keeping in mind uh, the you may say various particulars regarding financial soundness risk taking capability of the customer then pension services uh, you see nowadays various banks have started pension services they are not offering pension um, as such but they are uh, basically offering the new pension scheme popularly known as nps that is uh, launched by government of india and they uh, allow this by acting as one of the point of presence pops which is enrolled under enrolled under pfrda that is pension fund and regulatory development authority of india now again i am uh, making it clear that uh, it is not the pension scheme by the banks they are acting as pops point of preferences and they are managing the nps now what is nps it is a government uh, initiative that allows investors to invest in a scheme where they may create some corpus uh, for their retirement and it is uh, beneficial for the person it is beneficial for the employee it is also beneficial for the employers and uh, the employee will be getting even double benefit double benefits are i think being student of tax you might be, you might be aware that in atc we are getting the benefit and a one wonderful feature of this scheme is that ki you are in a position to decide uh, you are in a position to decide in which security uh, you wish to invest which type of fund you want as your investment so money is put basically it is put in market Uh, equity market debt market risk is no doubt risk is there but still it is a main type of financial services and banks are into that uh, then insurance banks are helping you to take insurance uh, they are helping the business to keep all assets protected they are offering various types of insurance to them even not only to the companies to the individuals to simple customers they are also suggesting and uh, providing the insurance bank assurance concept is also gaining ground it has also gained ground so it is also being offered by banks in india so uh, dear students with this we have completed the module on types of deposits and various financial services being offered by banks okay then thank you thank you very much